Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Raj Shekhawat and I am vlogging from Pullman Hotel Adelaide to share my experience of quarantining in the hotel. So today is day number five. Wow, time is flying, isn't it? Well, the moment you hear about quarantine, it sort of raises different emotions in people. Um, uncertainty, anxiousness, um, the fact that one has to be trapped in a room for two weeks, all this sounds very dramatic and tedious, isn't it? But let me tell you, three tips to make your quarantine experience a pleasurable one. Uh, the first one is the right attitude. Remember one thing, this is once in a lifetime experience. Just from character building point of view, um, it's one of those things you can always say once you're old to reflect back that yes, I had quarantine for two weeks. So that's one attitude, right attitude. Second thing is, please stay in touch with your friends and family. I'm extremely, extremely grateful to my close circle of family and friends. Um, right now here in Adelaide, my friend Justin and his wife, Teresa. Justin and Teresa, thank you so much for everything you have done every day practically checking on us and everything you have sent to me and for my family. Thank you so much for that. My friend Ken from Melbourne, I know, I know Melbourne is more happening than Adelaide, but dude, thank you so much on a personal note for everything you have done to make my stay here very comfortable and, and all our chats. And also, I think I'm grateful to Flinders University for all the assistance throughout this process. Now let's reflect a little bit more about my experience so far here. Um, all the hotel staff at Pullman Hotel, we are so grateful to you. Um, the people at receptions, you are very prompt to, to pick calls. You're very prompt to address anything which we need. Also the healthcare workers, every day we get a call from you. I know you're doing, doing your duties. You ask the same sort of questions. Um, it's really, really nice of you to work around the clock to assist us. And also I think the, the hospitality staff, especially the staff in the kitchen, Oh my God, the food is amazing. And also the little gestures you guys do, the notes you write, the personal notes which you write on the bag sometimes, and sometimes the goodies you send, they're really kind gestures. So we're really, really, really grateful for all that. And now let me also share my experience of undergoing a COVID-19 test. So um, was it painful? No, it wasn't. Was it very pleasant? No, it wasn't. So what happens is they have this long sort of a stick kind of thing, a swab, which they pop right at the back of your throat. I almost gagged just to get a swab from the back of your throat. And also they take a swab from your nasal cavity as well. So it goes right up near in your nose. So it's, it's uncomfortable and unpleasant, but it's not definitely not painful. And we got our results within 48 hours. The results were negative, which is great. Um, so the experience was um, interesting. So don't be scared or afraid of the test. It, it's one of those things you have to go through. It's not super duper uncomfortable as well. Definitely not painful. So on the whole, day five have gone really, really smoothly and well. We are very grateful to our friends and family for keeping us entertained. Uh, very grateful to Pullman Hotel staff for all the comfort and care you're providing. By the way, we also get checked on pra practically every day just to make sure that we are doing okay and there are same number of people in the room uh, to ensure that we are abiding by the rules of quarantine. Having said that, I will probably check in again in a few days time to share my rest of the experience. So far, we are just battling with jet lag and trying our best to get out of the jet lag still in UK time zone. But as, as I said, trying our best to come out of it. Uh, other than that, I think we are fine because I'm with my family. So you can chit chat with them. You could entertain yourself. You could watch a telly. You could do your work. Also, one more thing, don't be too harsh on yourself if you think your productivity has gone slightly down. Remember, we are living in very uncertain times and uh, uh, it's okay to be slightly less productive, uh, but going uh, rather than stressing out too much about it. Okay, you take care and very soon I'll catch up with you all again. Thank you. Bye.